everyone, this is Bailey from the EMH, and I'm back with another Elephant Money video. And I thought, hey, what better to celebrate Trunk reaching that $1 mark than, hey, a math lesson. All right. So, uh, you know, part of uh, what I'm going to try to do here is kind of break down the uh, Trunk uh, price equations for each liquidity pool. All right. And the ultimate goal is to kind of understand, like, where that price comes from, uh, but also to kind of understand, like, why BT uh, has been really talking about that BUSD liquidity pool, all right, and um, why that is kind of a focus and try to get um, a lot of trunk out of that pool and kind of bridged over to uh, Solana, all right. So guys, we're going to start off, uh, there's four major liquidity pools. We're going to start off with the one that has the least amount of liquidity uh, and that's the radium pool on Solana. So if you take a look here, guys, uh, what this graph is going to show you is the amount of USD value in the liquidity pool here on our x-axis. All right, that's our input. And then our y value or output is going to be the price uh, per trunk or how much trunk is going for. All right. And that is the equation that the price has to follow uh, in this liquidity pool. All right. Remember, guys, that trunk is only on decentralized exchanges, all right, which means it has to obey these mathematical formulas. So it's going to be moving um independent of the market all right it's not really going to be influenced that much by the macro it's all going to be kind of like just this mathematical formula and um those centralized exchanges and order books aren't going to have any influence really on the price okay all right so check it out guys um so what i did was i just used that constant product formula so you just take the amount of tokens the um the USDC times the trunk, all right? And we get our K in the constant product formula. And then these price equations, guys, are gonna look like this, all right? Uh, the price is gonna be one over K times X squared. Whew. All right, all right. So you don't have to really like understand like where that comes from, um, but uh, basically guys, what we can do with that is kind of see and track um, the price and how the price is going to change over time. All right. And you can look right here, guys, and we can take the amount of USDC that's in the pool right now. And then you can just kind of track it up and you're going to see that it's just over uh, $1 right now. Uh, the trunk is in that pool. All right. So that's our radium pool. Okay. And then we have our second pool. And our second uh, smallest pool is the um, Trunk B and B uh, liquidity pool. All right, and that's on the Binance Smart Chain. All right, and that, my friends, yeah, should be in blue. There we go. All right, not that it really matters, but I put blue there. So hey. All right, so guys, uh, in this one here, all right, you have to tweak the formula a little bit because it's a BNB and not a stable coin. So uh, when we get our X times Y equals K, we also have to put the price of BNB in there. And that can fluctuate a little bit uh, depending on where it's at, all right? Uh, but so right now there's about uh, almost one and a half million dollars worth of BNB in that pool. And if we look up, we're going to be able to see that trunk is just under one dollar, 99 and a half cents at the time of this recording on the Binance Smart Chain in this pool right here. All right. So that's how that price equation is going to look. OK, now you're going to notice, guys, that this curve is below the purple curve. All right. Because it's a deeper liquidity pool. Um, so the price doesn't change as rapidly. All right. The faster uh, changing pool or the more vo volatile, excuse me, pool is going to be the radium pool because it's has the least amount of liquidity. All right. Um, our next pool, guys, this is our Meteora pool. All right, and I put that in red, that's on Solana, and that's paired with USDC. All right, and guys, we have here our constant product formula, all right, our price equation, and if we take a look, 
All right, right now at the time of this recording on Solana, we are just over, all right, that $1 mark, very close to a dollar and one cent per trunk token right there, okay? And guys, you can kind of see that these three equations um, look very similar in nature, right? Um, parabolic, right, as the price goes up, we need less and less capital to actually move the price, right? Um, we get quicker and quicker as we go, as more capital gets added into these pools. All right, what you wanna know, guys, is with these um, three liquidity pools, um, you're gonna have more price impact when you are um, buying and selling from them, all right? The price is gonna move um, more on these pools than we're gonna see in a second, the BUSD pool, okay? So you're always actually gonna get the best deal, um, typically buying and selling from this last pool, the deepest pool, because as we, as we buy and sell and more capital gets put in, so if you put your capital in, you actually move more rapidly and you move um, quicker on these uh, curves, which means, guys, you pay more per token, all right? Because you don't pay one flat price for your token, but you pay a series or an average price depending on where you moved your location on the constant product formula. So um, that's another thing called slippage, all right? So you're moving around so you don't get the full value because the tokens cost you more. So the price impact is going to be greatest in this radium pool. All right, it's going to be least in this Meteora pool because it's deeper. But here's the real interesting one, guys. And this is why I wanted to show you this. It kind of gives you a nice visual of kind of like what BT is really talking about is we have this uh, ginormous, gigantic, whoa, way down here, this trunk BUSD LP. All right, and the reason, guys, that Right, it's that curve really goes much slower is there's a lot of capital, a lot of liquidity sitting in that BUSD trunk LP on the Binance Smart Chain. All right, you're going to see there's about 7 million, just shy of 7 million trunk and $7 million of BUSD in that pool. So it's actually a lot deeper. And because of that, and we see our location, all right, we can't even see it. We gotta go way out to about $7 million on our graph here. And then we're gonna see that on the BNB &B chain here, uh, we're just under a dollar again, all right, on that liquidity pool, all right? But this is why BT has been talking about that um, BUSD liquidity pool is that if we want our price to really take off for trunk and to accelerate really rapidly and really fast, well, you can focus on these pools, but the arbitrage will happen and it will get sold into this pool, increasing the amount of trunk, right? So what we wanna do is to try to get as much trunk out of this pool so that this price curve can start to get more and more, uh, it's slope higher and higher, and the price can actually increase more and more rapidly um, in this larger pool. All right, now you're gonna get the best deal, the best bang for your buck buying from this pool because when you put money into this pool, the price doesn't really move as fast, which means you're paying a better average price per token. There's less slippage in this pool, all right? And so you're incentivized to kind of try to target and buy over on the BNB &B chain. And then, you know, that awesome opportunity of putting your trunk in Soland on the Solana. So then you want to bridge it over to Solana and put it in Soland. That's the best play right now. All right. Uh, but you're going to see, guys, it's really cool is that as we go in the constant product formula, like if we add a million dollars of capital from here to here, you know, the price goes up a little bit. But every time we add, say, a million dollars, the price escalates and goes up more. And then here, guys, from five million to six million, notice how if I move over, I move up one whole block right there, which is uh, 25 cents. All right. And it's just going to keep getting more and more steep. Notice here, one whole block. That's another million. 
Now we're up about 30 some odd cents. Okay, so the price is going to escalate more and more rapidly um, as we as we go. All right, it's going to take less capital to push more and more value um, out of the constant product formula. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys uh, just that visual, right? Because you know sometimes when BT is talking about you know all the different strategies and everything, it's good sometimes to have like a look under the hood. So you can kind of make sense of like where he's coming from and, um, you know, why he's thinking the way he's thinking and why he's prioritizing certain things. All right, guys. So I hope this was helpful. Um, basically, all of my older math videos on like elephant and everything, uh, the tokenomics have changed like drastically. So I'm going to be coming out with some new stuff that's more uh, relevant to how the ecosystem looks uh, right now. All right, so stay tuned to the channel and I appreciate all your support. Until next time, this is Bailey from the EMH. I'm out.